Hi friends, um, I have Valerie today with me. Um, Valerie has got a very exciting business. Uh, she is the founder and CEO of Zipdial. Uh, Zipdial has had a quarter of a billion hits, Zipdials, in the last one year. Uh, which is, I think, a fantastic quarter of a billion in any terms is fantastic. I think <laughs> in dollars it's particularly great, but nevertheless, yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. So, without further ado, why don't we get into the business model? What is Zipdial about? Yeah. So, Zipdial is creating a very, very simple consumer experience, which therefore drives more engagement, more interaction with brands. And when brands are using Zipdial, they pay us for that. So, the mm -hmm. business model is a B2B model. Uh, so, it could be a simple direct response on an ad, it could be customer feedback, it could be logging into a website, all of these scenarios of Dell is the absolute simplest way for someone to engage, simply by dialing a missed call, mm -hmm. essentially, mm -hmm. and that then starts the engagement. More people respond and engage, and therefore the business is happy and pays us for using the service. Fantastic. And uh, the missed call, the magic of the missed call is something that we have heard a lot about, and Valerie has decided to make it a you know cornerstone of her business. I personally used it, and I can attest to the fact that it has been a fabulous experience for me. But, I mean, obviously, the market is moving towards what you know, we have got uh, 100 million internet users in India right now. It's going to go to 300 million, 400 million. You've got 800 million mobile phones out there. Obviously, there's an entire ecosystem building up, and all of this. All these numbers mean that uh, you're destined to a billion dollar IPO, doesn't it? Yeah, so so really, the like I said, the idea we're not a missed call company, we're a company that's creating the simplest possible consumer experience. Mm -hmm. So that might start with a zip dial and then it might lead into an app based experience. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, how do you smooth out the friction and mm -hmm. make, make it easier for more consumers to engage again and again and again over time? Mm -hmm. So, what do you think is the future? Why do you think this is going to be so hot in India? Well, in India and outside, we're already doing things. Oh, you're doing outside as well? Yeah, oh, we, will, we okay. will absolutely be a global company. Okay. So, you know, there's the just the advertising market alone in India, large and small businesses, is $22 billion. And the kind improving the ROI in that market and in that call to action mm -hmm. is where Zipdial plays. But beyond that, there's so many other operational use cases, whether it's, say, customer feedback or cash and delivery verifications mm -hmm. or all sorts of different use cases that even extend into the operating kind of wallet mm -hmm. of business. Mm -hmm. Then you take that internationally. And then you leverage the fact that all of this consumer behavior that's building up, mm. we we are over time, you know, understand a lot about consumer preferences, consumer behaviors, consumer trends, mm -hmm. and as they interact more and more with Zipdial's clients, and therefore, you know, there's another inflection point in the business model mm. where we can layer on even more targeted services directly for mm. consumers. Mm. Excellent. And if there was one thing, if there was one metric that you were watching, not of your business, but outside, you know, what would that number be? Would it be the sort of the number of internet users in India? Would it be the or the globe? Or would it be like you know something else? You know, would it be the number of mobile payment things that are going? What would be that single metric that concerns you the most? Underlying technology. I think the really what we're interested in because our business model is B two B. We're looking at what are what's the long tail of businesses adopting. So today we have customers like Procter Gamble, Cadbury, Kingfisher. Et cetera, et cetera, like all these large brands. Mm -hmm. But the fact is, we also have now merging on hundreds of smaller businesses who are coming to zipdial.com, signing up for a basic service for you know as low as a thousand rupees a month. And so it's really the trend in what businesses are adopting in terms of mobile engagement and CRM and loyalty. So you're watching what businesses are doing. Are you looking dominantly at B2C businesses as your clients or is it B2B businesses as well? Mostly B2C, but it could be both. It could be both. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And um, very exciting question for me. What are you, 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 you are a, you are somebody that was brought up in California, right? You know, you've been in India for four and a half years. Talk to us about your journey. <laughs> yeah, well, I love emerging markets and I love technology startups. So it was a very, very natural thing to put those two together. Okay. Uh, so I uh, went to Stanford for my bachelor's and master's. 
investors, stayed in the Silicon Valley doing a couple startups and eBay for a couple years, uh -huh. and came over to India, joined a mobile payments company called Mcheck, and then started Zipdial two years ago. And so, uh, really, I knew I was always on the path towards being an entrepreneur. And why India for me is that I, the, this market is extremely dynamic, and there's so much need that, that which means you know with a lot of change and a lot of need, there's a lot of room to innovate, and there's a lot of room to create disruptive business models mm -hmm. like Zipdial's. Uh, you know, the massive adoption of mobile phones that's now proliferated uh, is a huge opportunity for now, say, consumers to engage with brands. Uh, but then you have these other really interesting trends about extremely low ARPUs, and therefore, you know, so there's a lot of room to do new things in a mm -hmm. market that's changing so much all the time. Fantastic. And is there a message you have for all those budding entrepreneurs out there? <laughs> uh, it is not an easy job. So, so, uh, <laughs> so you got to really love it. But that's sort of the definition of, of uh, entrepreneurship: is that that kind of passion that drives you every day to keep fighting those battles. So, so good luck. <laughs> <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. One last question: How are you funded, and how do you see your uh, funding going forward in the future? Yeah, we raised seed funding from Mumbai Angels, and that was last year, and that's that's carrying us through. And uh, we will definitely break even sometime very soon, and then consider what kind of growth plans beyond that. Fantastic, and best of luck with your villain over IPO. Thank you.